that popping? What, what's going on? First and foremost, I need to start with Summer Walker. I like Summer Walker. Because I love everything about her. I did too. Her album is fire. You and said I'm, you did or do? No, I still love her music. I'm never going to stop loving her music because her album speak to me in ways I haven't been spoken to in a while. Okay? Oh. She speaks to my soul. She speaks to my mind. And she speaks to my spirit. Summer Walker gives me everything I need in R&B music. Okay? Okay. That's period. Period. I just want you to know that. With, with, a, with two T's. Period. But, you know, Summer Walker um, has been on a nationwide tour that she called her first and last tour. So everybody's been raking them up. It's been sold out. But so she was getting a lot of backlash because, you know, a lot of, at these tours they have meet and greet special some artists where they get to meet her fans. Well, a lot of fans have been disappointed because she has been mm, not so opening and receptive that a fan feels that an artist should be as far as when it comes to hugs and greeting them. It says she's real distant, real standoffish and everything. And which makes a fan feels like, oh, okay, do you not want to greet us? Or or whatever it was, the fans have been very unhappy. She recently came out and discussed it. She suffers from social anxiety, which I think almost everyone pretty much suffers from that but some people have worse cases than others and and that's fine that's neither here nor there that's not my business that's not hers but fans have been extremely disappointed she went on her instagram to talk about you know how uncomfortable she feels um with people and giving them her energy and she doesn't want negative vibes or whatever and she has canceled a lot of her tour dates because of this reason now this is where i come in because I was going to purchase a ticket to see Summer Walker when she came in Cleveland. And I was going to purchase a ticket to her meet and greet, actually, too, because I wanted to meet her. My thing is, sweetie, you suffered from social anxiety before you planned this tour, before you planned this meet and greet. And in 2019, I don't want to hear those sad artist stories of they don't know how to deal with fame. This is not the 80s. This is and not the 90s. The reason why I say I get... Back in the day, I've heard, I mean, Crunch, I've heard this story. I've heard Whitney Houston's tales of instant fame and her not being able to deal with it. Michael Jackson, I, I get it. Because in the 80s and the 90s, they packaged fame in a bottle and they didn't were not want us to see what came with that. But in 2019, after all of our behind the music and E! True Hollywood stories and what we've seen in the last two years with celebrities and stuff, we can literally watch our stars die on social media. We get We get all that, sweetie. No, no one asked you to go on tour. You, you didn't have to do... Granted, I'm sure her label asked her, but I'm saying you could have said no. We are living in a generation where Summer Walker could have literally just put out her music and did nothing beside put out her music. We literally in that era where you don't, you don't even have to promote it. You don't have to go shake hands. You don't have to kiss babies. That's fine. But you can't have it both ways. You can't, you can't have it both ways. Touring, we know... Makes money. She just wants to sing. That's fine. Honey, you could have did an acoustic version of your album from your living room and packaged it. People would have bought it because that's why she's yeah, outselling all her con um, contemporaries right now. I'm paying $10 a month for this Apple Music, okay? Yeah, but yeah, I'm buying it. Yeah, but that don't, but that don't go to her. I know it's like zero, 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 zero point something Apple that they get. I, I get it. Trust me. I know how yeah. it works. But what I'm saying is you can't have it both ways. Or you can even tour. You don't even have to do the meet and greet. You can literally tour and go off stage and go home. But someone I, you let, you allow someone to talk you into doing a meet and greet. Um, London on track. Her dude that produced all her music. He's been in the industry for a while, so he should have known this yeah, before he told her that he should have peaked. He should have peaked game. Person, she probably went into it thinking like I can do it. And, and she probably went in there thinking... I I, but that's it. what I'm saying. 2019, I don't want to hear no excuse because you, you've had so much evidence still, of still, why you couldn't do it. Still you're still human. Yeah, you're still human. But you're also... people. And even still, even with all this development, it didn't... It, it helped them, but they still suffered from stuff. But and it still didn't help them overall because they were still messed up mentally. So yeah. it didn't even matter anyway. But still, so she 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 going through a moment like it, a lot of artists go through. A lot of artists been through. A lot of artists uh, voiced it di differently that we see in it live and direct. 
in 100%. We're seeing it as it plays out. Shout out and I'm sure if we had social media, we would have seen Mary J. Blige go through it. We would have seen Brandy go yeah. through it. We would have seen Whitney go through it. We would have seen Mariah go through it. Because they all went through it at the same time. And they had art artist development too. But it is what it is. Yeah. I don't want to hear your step story but, 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 but right no, now. But, I feel like in 2019, you don't have to do those things. You literally you have, don't. You have to do those things. You, you do not I'm have to do those you, things. She has to do those things because people, she still, she's still not a household name to everybody. But it, old, but listen, granted, listen. if she's going, but it's, it's not. Shaking, it's shaking hands. It, what you do as a kind of shaking shake hands and kissing kiss babies. babies. She Absolutely, has to do it. No, no, she, she no, no, she don't have every, to. She every should do it. Brand new artist go, you it. should, but what? No, no. My point is, I get it. She should do this, but if you are going to make your fans feel like, oh. You don't want to talk to us. It's point. Don't Listen, do it. She's gonna, trust me. Listen, people are extremely disappointed. And you don't want to disappoint when you're a new artist. Beyonce can cancel tours, okay, whatever, even though she does it. Rihanna can lie to us for three years now about putting out new music. She has it. She has lied to us. She got the music. She's not giving it's it to the us. Right time, I, don't, I don't care about her story. It's but right Rihanna dropped the album for 10 years straight. So we can give her this space. Right. We're sorry about it, but I'm saying she can have this space. But what I'm saying is, Summer Walker, get it together because your music is too good for you to be acting this funky. And I get it. She is working on her mental health. There you go. Sorry. She is She's working, working on, on it. Shout She's out to Summer on. Walker. But it's pressing her feelings. I feel you, Summer. Get yourself I here. don't. As a fan, no. I, don't, I wanted to see you in tour. And thank God I didn't purchase a meet and greet because I would have to tell you about yourself.